Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews again. Another beer from Kent. It's from the Hop Damon Brewery, and it's a bottle of Leviathan. It's a strong ale coming in at six percent, as you can see. Below that, submarine type fish, whatever you call it. And it's a strong ale. It's a winter ale on on cask, I believe. Um, it's brewed with um, I think it's brewed with I'm trying to think of the name it's um, oh excuse me I'm just trying my brain's gone dead I think it's f uh, fungal fungal hops or fungal hops fungal hops and Bramble and cross um, any other information on here Nope, just a great Kentish ale saying uh, it's got a best before date of January 2016 it's on a silver bottle cap. There you go. 500ml bottle, 6%. Strong, strong ale. <laughs> Let's give this one a crack. A little bit of smoke there. Not too much. Excuse me. There we go. Of course, it's dark. It's a dark one. It's definitely a strong winter ale in July. Look at the carbonation coming up through there. Look. That's a finger and a half of slightly tanned coloured. Not quite white. Lots of small bubbles. It's got gentle carbonation running through the beer. I don't know if you're picking this up. I don't think you are, are you? I put my hand there. You might pick it up. Anyway, you know what carbonation looks like. One finger, as I say. It's fairly clear. It's dark, it's like a maroony sort of mahogany colour. I don't know if it's bottle conditioned. Uh, it says the Vifon is a strong ruby ale with spicy hop aromas and a rich multi finish. I didn't really want to know that before I drank it. Um, Brewed from the finest malted barley and Kentish hops, this beast of a beer is deceptively easy drinking for its strength and is dev devilishly good with game dishes, fine cheeses or simply enjoy on its own. That's what I'm doing. Recommended serving temperature, blah, blah, blah. Um, with cap pour into your favourite glass, bloody blah, blah. Rich hoppy flavours of this great Kentish ale. Contains malted barley and wheat. Um, anyway, there's the information below. I've just realised I'm taking too long with this review. Apologies. Anyway, that's a bit about the beer. There's a bit of the artwork. That fish thing. Right, let's get aromas. It's, it's the first thing you're picking up is there's a lot of malt in this beer. Obviously, you can see the colour. There you go, see the colour against my t shirt. It gives me the impression one of these these beers is um, on a cold, sort of autumn, winter, or spring day kind of thing. Lots of kind of dark fruits going on there. A little bit of roasted malt, a bit caramelly. The hops are there, but there's there's, there's a lot of other the malt aromas are definitely coming through more. It's all about the malts. The hops are there, but as I say. Anyway, this gives us a try. Cheers.
Wow, that is multi. Caramel. It's leaving a lovely lacing. A really nice, thick kind of lacing to this. That head is really kind of sticking around. Caramel, bit of toffee. Um, it's definitely roasty, kind of brown bread toast. It's quite warm in as well. It's definitely a very good, I would say, winter ale. Six percent, though. You, you, I'll be surprised. I, I wouldn't think you'd. There's a lot of flavours going on. It's got a medium medium mouth feel to it uh, it's, it's probably drinking more of a five percenter not a six it's got a lovely tang to it on the front end anyway very rich kind of creamy it's really nice Even, you know, obviously it's, uh, what are we today, the 25th, I think we're the 25th, it's the 25th of July today, so we're, we're creeping into, almost into August, so we're kind of two quarters, two quarters, two, two thirds of the way through the summer now. Still drinking nice even in July. But imagine with a bit of cold weather, that slight warming sensation in your stomach. This would be a nice, nice one to pick up. Any time of year, really. But they, they do, as I say, I think this is more of a seasonal beer that's been bottled. It's one of their core ranges, and certainly for the winter months, um, you could probably find this. Uh, certainly, I've not seen it on cast locally, but the more sort of mid to west Kent you'd probably pick this one up in um, a half decent ale pub um, it's definitely got a few dark fruits at the front end as well it's a really well balanced beer it's, it's kind of It's not too. It's the bitterness is there, but it's not. And so is the sweetness. It's quite balanced, smooth mouth feel. Carbonations, you know. It's not blowing your palate. It's very really nice. Um, as for a rating for Leviathan strong ale coming at 6% from the Hop Damon Brewery I'm gonna go it's a solid 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 let's get this bottom out and see what what happens there look at that Whoa. love that reaction that the bottom of that beer gave I don't think it's bottle conditioned I haven't seen anywhere on there I'm just stabbing in the dark at that um, I wouldn't that's probably just a probably just a, well, certainly I don't think bottle conditioned anyway general carbonation I don't know if you're picking that up here we go just about see it raisiny caramel toffee there's even a hint of coffee the more I'm drinking it a little bit of chocolate as well it's, it's quite rich 
a very kind of rich, smooth, strong ale. Anyway, check these out. Uh, Hopdamon.com. They're out in Newham in Kent. There you go. Down the bottom there. And cheers for now.